And what we're going to do during the year, I'll probably, you know, going. But the overall picture for FQR is healthy. Uh, we're starting our 12th year. By a life program, by the way, if everybody have one, it's really it's Uh, our Welcome Home program is doing well. Home delivered meals, approximately 29,000. 150,000 miles uh, driven Crossville. Caring Connections, Senior Enrichment, all humming along beautifully. One new venture that has really started maintenance and safety. Sending this to the board yes. What it is simply, it is literally helping people in their homes, whether they hiding and raping leaves. Um, plan on a bake sale coming up in a couple of months. We're going to have our comedy uh, show in May right here. August we will uh, playhouse uh, concert, two-day event. Because oh, we certainly appreciate um, in closing, I came across this slogan the other day, I don't know. <clears throat> anyway, uh, FGRS, Fairfield Bay Resident Services, Navy. I thought it was rather interesting. I was looking for new volunteers, too. Thank you, Pat. At this point, we'll, uh, we'll entertain any comments uh, from the floor from any of the Fairfield Glade residents that would like to either make comments or ask questions. Yes, ma'am, you want to step up to the microphone, please? Refer to the lot merger fees have declined. I'd like to know how many applications were submitted in 2019 and how many were accepted. We have the lot uh, committee. I don't have that with me. Uh, if you would contact probably me because I'm on the lot committee, I'll dig that information up for you and provide it to you. Be sure to see me right after the meeting. I'll be happy to get that for you. I think it was in one of our reports from ACC, but I just. Are there any other comments from the from the floor? Okay. Are there any comments from? Are there any comments from members of the board? Yes, ma'am. I've been asked to give an update on the status of the amphitheater. Um, Tom's goal is to have that built by Memorial Day weekend, but there are several hurdles that have to occur first. The drawings are with the engineers currently. I spoke with him this morning. He feels um, that he could have those to us by the end of next week. Then it will have to go to the county for their approval. Um, and. Just ex um, expecting that approval, once that's approved, then it will need to go out to bid. I'm being told by the engineers that it is going to require steel beam construction to achieve the span. Um, so then we will need to send that out to bid. And as we all know in this room, that can be a game changer. So, um, you know, it, that at that point we'll know more about um, if we're going to proceed and then of course the construction time so it is the goal but 
there's no guarantees at this point. We're just not quite far enough along to make any guarantees. Yes, ma'am. That's on hold. He would really like to have someone that wants to run it. He doesn't want to be in the restaurant business. He has talked to several people. He's even engaged a broker out of Nashville and has gotten no interest in someone wanting to come in here and run a restaurant. Um, they've looked at the demographics and the information we've been able to provide. He's not in the restaurant business. He's happy to build a restaurant, but it is not his desire to run a restaurant. So until that happens, until we find somebody that would be interested in running a restaurant, that project is definitely on hold. Anything else? Bob, did you want to give an update on that? Yes, I, I have a report on the um, lot mergers. I don't have the number that were submitted, but the number approved in 2019 were 37, and that compares to 61 in 2018. So, and we did deny some uh, lot mergers. So there were definitely more submitted than approved. All right, anything else? Yes. I yes. have three semi-quick ones. Certainly. Uh, first of all, we were privileged uh, to receive earlier this month the uh, report, annual report from the police department. And I think this is the third year I've said this, but it bears saying every time we really appreciate that report. And in particular, we appreciate the fact that the report illustrates how much the police department is doing for us in enforcing the law and deterring criminal activity and going way and well above the call of duty in terms of providing other services to our community. Here, and so let me say thank you and also my hope that you'll pass that along to your staff. Second thing real quickly, uh, Second thing is, I think every PR we, we uh, approved earlier in the meeting uh, came in at or below budget. Third thing is, Mr. Gouet, please pass along my appreciation to Dr. Prigg for the fact that he took his time and you took your time to come in yesterday and present uh, so much information to us about all the good things that FGRS is doing, because every year that helps me focus on the fact of how valuable FGRS is to this community. Thank you. Is there anything else? Okay, at this time I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Moved. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Stand adjourned.